my mindset was going to going and win the game. Um, be the aggressor. I think we was the first half. Uh, the second half, we let them crawl back in the game. Uh, they got some stops, and like I said, mindset was to come in and win. We didn't get it done. Kevin said Tuesday night, guys, that there might be a, some sort of a split in the locker room and said a few different things about leadership. I mean, have any of those things kind of contributed to what's happened these last six games? Um, like I said, uh, some guys we have to step up and, you know, be the leader and take uh, criticism and, you know, to fall on this season. Um, like I said, uh, I wouldn't say it would be one guy or several guys that would lead, but all together we have to come in here with the mindset uh, with one goal. Um, I think we can still pull it together and you know, string a couple wins and get back in here. Jamal, you, are, you guys have, for all the scoring potential that you have, there are these stretches. You had one in the start of the second half tonight, one of these global games. It's happened a bunch of times where you guys just go these long stretches without scoring. What's, you guys are sort of set up your jump shooting team, but is that? Um, when the jump shot not falling, we have to, you know, drive the basketball and create some contact. Uh, I think we did that, though, in the second half. We got some foul line shots, uh, free throws, a couple easy points. So uh, when the jump shot not falling, just get to the lane, try to create uh, and get easy layups. Does it sometimes take a little longer than maybe it should to kind of get to that point? Uh, yeah, I would say. I would say because um, we, we rely on the jump shot. Uh, majority of the game. So if that's not falling, like I said, just drive and, you know, try to create some layups or some easy free throws. Well, when you have, when you have like issues on the team and, and, you know, the coach calls you out like that, how much of it is after a loss like Tuesday, how much of it is responding and trying to get the team back on the right path, but also, you know, playing for some pride? How much do you guys, how much did that go into? Uh, it's not easy um, trying to, you know, get these guys together, you know, get them on the right path when things not going well. So we all have to, uh, like I said, the same goal is to come in here and win games. So uh, we all have to be on the same um, mindset of coming in here, uh, going to North Carolina and going to Duke uh, with the same goal of winning. So it's not going to be easy. How much of that is there, you know, the pride being that there's a bunch of Pittsburgh kids on this team and, you know, you want to represent the university. Right, right. right. We, we want – everybody wants to represent the university, whether they're from Pittsburgh or not. And, you know, I felt like this is one that we, we really should have won. And it was one that we really needed going, <clears throat> uh, looking ahead. So, you know, it's tough and, and you know, just the string of losses we've put together now is pretty tough, but we just have to keep fighting together. I mean, one thing we can't do is fall apart within ourselves. So, I mean, people will say uh, we're falling apart, but we have to bring it upon ourselves to just pull it all together. Cam, do you feel like offensively you guys as a team sometimes settle for the jump shot too often? Yeah, I think we do. Um, and that, that show today, we missed a couple jump shots. They hit a couple, and we went from up five to down ten pretty quick. So, like Jamel said, we just need to get the ball to the basket because once we did, we got to the foul line, we scored more. So we need to, you know, take that initiative more often. What would you guys say was the toughest part about playing against Blossom and Obviously, he's had a good season, but he might have his best game of the year today. What was the toughest part about that? He's, he's versatile. Score outside, score inside. So... I think that gave us some problems today. During a losing streak uh, like this, I guess, in six games, now, how much frustration, how much you know, disappointment, or how much of a letdown comes with, with sort of each passing loss? Mm -hmm. When you lose, you, I know you're pretty upset when you lose. So yeah. um, when you lose six straight, of course, you're going to be frustrated. So it's just how you're going to come back and fight. Um, is we going to give up? What are we going to fight? So it's all about pride right now. Now, how comfortable are you guys with Coach Stallings at this point? I'm very comfortable. Um, she's a great coach. So, uh, like I said, can't put it on him. So guys, me, Cam, we out there. So we can't just put it on him. you guys feel like when you go through a drought like that on offense that it carries over to your play on defense? I feel like it does sometimes, and we can't let that happen. Um, I feel like sometimes we do miss a couple shots, get inside our heads, but that's something, obviously, that we need to change, and it kind of affected us today. How much did the Last liberal question. substitution in the first half, how much did that help you guys? And how much uh, did, did you kind of get caught by surprise the way the second half started? It gave us some rest because we were all playing as hard as we could. You know, we gave it 110%. So <clears throat> it did give us some rest and 
the other guys did come in and do a, do a good job. So that, that definitely helped us, the fact that they came in and really contributed, allowed us to get a break, come back in, and I think that was really successful in the first half. I didn't think anything caught us by surprise in the second half. It, it was on us that we let up points really quickly. I mean, you can't blame fatigue for any of that. It was at the start of the second half, so it was just on us at that point.